I'm dreaming off the road again Set free in the wind I just had a cat attack my ankle a few points on the distance Something worse could have happened. Like, I could have been a widowed. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you are having a lovely day. Thank you for stopping by and clicking on my video and watching it. At the moment, I've been kind of just filming random days and also like multiple days in a row just because stuff gets hectic and I can't always pick up the camera and finish out the vlog or the day or the week or whatever. So I'm just filming as I'm going and then I just cut it. So. I hope you kind of enjoy. I just woke up from a fat nap with my boys. One is still sleeping, but I literally woke up and then like maybe three minutes later, my husband calls me and he's like, don't freak out. And I literally, like I was still like drowsy and I literally like woke up. I feel like vomiting now. <laughs> but he was like, someone just hit me on my bike. I literally, mm, I'm shaking. Like, I'm literally have been sitting here. Like, uh, I'm so baffled right now. And my firstborn's car seat is in his truck. And he's still napping. And I so badly want to wake him up and be like, bro, let's go. Because they're, like, really close to the house. But I just want to have a chit-chat with the girl. Because the girl hit him. And, like, I've been sitting here and keeping my composure, you know, trying to chill being. And thank God my brother was here. And literally, as soon as, like, my husband told me, I literally heard my brother's truck start up. And, like, he didn't even let the thing warm up. Like, he revved up out of here. And I literally was in. I was like... Like, I didn't even notice. I was like, um, are you fine? Like, hello? And he said that the chick probably hit him, like, about, like, 25 miles per hour, maybe. Um, it, like, dented the back of his bike. It, his neck is jacked. I was like, were you wearing your helmet? And he said, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank God. But, like, I'm, like, I'm laughing because I'm, like, so stressed out right now. And to think, like, something worse could have happened. Like, I could have been a widowed. My boys could have been without a father. And I know, like, oh, it's just itsy bitsy. But no. If you're watching this and there's motorcycles, like, at least a two-car distance. At least. Like, I cannot stress this enough. Y'all, like. Oh, got a girl frazzled. So, yeah, I love that. But my brother's there. Like, I almost like hit up one of these neighbors because we've lived here for like two to three years i almost hit up a neighbor and i was like yo can one y'all come up in here and watch my kid while he knows because my husband just got hit and i need to go have a chit chat with this gal and like i'm not saying i was gonna do like a little mm -mm. i was gonna be like hey yo do you see these two children like i was gonna have a heart to heart with her like a kind one because i got jesus in my heart and i can't be doing none of that me all stressed up up in here okay so Austin is back home well he was back home he just left to go to the doctors to get checked out um I talked to him a little bit saw the little damage on the bike not sure if it's gonna be totaled totaled, totaled or not um and they were doing a report so uh yeah i love that but he said that when he like got hit his neck like literally snapped backwards uh so love that he was saying that like he was starting to hurt like down his back so like all that adrenaline is like wearing off um and then the more he's talking he's like now like i have like tingling in my jaw so all that so i was like yeah make sure you have the pictures make sure all that because we're reporting that absolutely not like it, it infuriates me and i know i'm just like going on and on and on and on and about it but like i cannot stress enough y'all need to pay attention be aware especially to people that are like on motorcycles like i know it's like oh, okay motorcycles and some are not very smart about their driving habits when they're on their bikes i will give them that but most of them like are 
you know, some aren't wearing helmets and all that, but like literally stay so far behind them. There was like one time we were like on like a little trip before we had kids and it was like starting to rain and it was nighttime and I literally stayed behind the guy a certain amount to where no one could get in front of me. Like there was a, a certain amount like distance, but like I made sure no one could get in front of me and I was like going slower. Like I was doing it so I would no one because like it was hard to see in the first place. And I was like, nah, I'm gonna make sure this guy's like okay up until as long as I can. So like literally, just please pay attention. You know what I'm saying? still works. He got this last year for his birthday and he got these for Easter. So we're gonna try to do some bubbles. I put this in my hair because I'm gonna try to plant some flowers too. Let's turn it on. Okay. And some bubbles. Huh? Yeah, bubbles. Okay, so I'm going to tear up through here and possibly over here, like all the grass and stuff, and just make it dirt. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some of these seeds. They don't come back next year, but I just want a little bit of difference and, you know, some stuff that the little pollinators can benefit from, I guess, but... Yeah, why not? Okay, so this is what I've gotten so far. I did bring that out, but it was not doing anything. And this is the other side. I haven't even touched it. I just got done with this side. I just need to take one, two, three, go! Whee! <clears throat> I just need to take my little three raker thing, break through there, and then plant. Okay, I don't know. I did, I don't know. Anyways, we're going back outside. I had to come back in to feed Cameron. My toddler's losing his mind. He sounds like a guinea pig. Woo, woo, woo. Anyways, I put this in the freezer because my ice maker is down for the count because I need to clean it. I have not cleaned it. It's been down for like a month or so. Maybe a little bit longer. I don't know, but it tastes so good. I love it. And yes, this is from yesterday, but I made coffee, but I'm using the cup, you know, recycling. So we have this neighborhood cat. I call it the neighborhood cat. But it's realized that the back door, like we keep the cat food literally like right there. And the cat's like actually sitting out there, but you can't, it won't focus. Earlier today, she came in. Baby, it's not done yet. She came in and started eating it. So I went by my other cat and tried to see if she would scare her away or whatever. Yes. And she didn't. Well, so hot diggity dog. She, we were out there just a few minutes ago, and she came up on the porch again, like wanting food. And I don't want to feed her because obviously they stay, and I just, I can't do another cat. Anyways, so I'm trying to get the boys in because, like, Cameron, he's ready to kind of get a little fed, you know and cars not wanting to come in, but I had the door open so I could like carry stuff, put it in, carry stuff, put it in. Ah! And she's like sticking her head in trying to eat the food and then my other two cats are actually sitting there and they're like hissing and you know what how cats are. And then my firstborn, he's sitting there and he's like laughing about it. And then I kind of move and she like, the neighborhood cat swats at me. So like, I don't know if anyone else is kind of like on the journey of like, 
basically people that are like in America, I reckon. Um, if anybody else is like on the journey of trying to like check labels and all that stuff, I know like mm, crazy, no, but like it's just a constant rabbit hole, bro. And some days I'm like, okay, like I don't even care. You know, we're all gonna die anyways, but then I'm like, okay, but what if I like die before my kids because I'm not taking the precautions? I'm struggling today. The past two days, like I've been, I've had like to-do lists of like things I need to do in that day. And I would do like most of it in the morning time before we go outside and I did not get to do that. I haven't unloaded the dishwasher, laundry, nothing. I've done nothing. And I've been outside and I kind of did some um, work in the gardening. Like what I showed, I finished doing that and I planted some seeds, added some rocks, stuff like that. So that's nice, but I just feel like a failure because there's just like so much. Like I go outside and I see like stuff that needs to be done, like the grass needs to be cut, the garden, like I need to start planting stuff. And like just so much. And it's like, I don't have the time for it. Don't even have time to take a shower. And it's like this morning, um, Cameron's like his teeth and stuff. So he just needed extra cuddles. And then he wanted to take a nap, but he was like fighting it, but then he still wanted a nap. And then, Carter did not want to eat like I made eggs and a turkey sausage and he was eating that at first and then he saw chips from like last night like the dinner like in the bag the, the chips the bag of chips and I told him no and then a meltdown and the rest of the morning went up. so then we went outside and I ate a bowl of cereal and drank my coffee and my coffee didn't even taste the best because there was too much creamer and it wasn't cold enough and I'm not trying to complain I'm just and I was just trying to journal and like Cameron woke up because Austin's truck started and it's a diesel so it was kind of loud and it woke him up which is fine um and now I'm doing like the oven and stuff so like I just put fries in I'm waiting a few minutes and then I'm gonna put the nuggets in because Carter and Austin just went and got some fuel, gas, gasoline, whatever, for something. Um, so I'm gonna try to have this halfway done so that way he could try to eat some lunch. And basically I was just trying to journal and I didn't really get to, cause like I had Cameron, which is fine. But like he kept trying to like grab it and like he likes to reach and like lunge already. Um, so. I didn't even get to do that. So that's why I'm just kind of like word vomiting because at least I can like get it off my chest. Like if I can't write it, I just, I need to do something or it just, it festers. And there's already been like so much, like it's just adding. And I just, I feel like a failure because I was like starting to get things caught up. I was like, okay, bet. I haven't done anything. I don't know. My goal of this is to just show like the beauty in the great times and the beauty and the down times. So, mama, you're not alone. Having kids close in age is very difficult. Having kids in general is very difficult. But um, in case you're not told very often or at all or whatever, you're doing the best you can. I'm looking rough. It's the end of the day to where I was like talking about how today's rough. And to top off today, I just had a cat attack my ankle. Okay, it's like burning right now. So I'm not trying to exaggerate, but it's like burning. And anyways. <sighs> okay, so here's my sliding door. There's cat food here. I call it the neighborhood kitty. She discovered yesterday that there was food here. So she slipped in here. Well, yes. Well, I was trying to get the boy in. The boys. The boys in and she's trying to get in the house I'm like no so I take my ankle and I just take it and scoo her like you do with the cat boy she was not amused okay she hissed wrapped a paw around and bit okay there's where she did her um, claw okay like she literally like wrapped her paw claws okay this is the bottom teeth okay 
that's the that's the top teeth right there. Today's today's just been a day, bro. Today, today has it really has. my battery off charge because we're going to be going um, to this event um, and they have like a bunch of like free activities for kids and families and tomorrow they are doing balloon rides like hot air balloon they were supposed to do that today but it's like raining and they were supposed to like switch the whole thing um, like a rain day reschedule but they didn't um, so like they kind of like have kites for today um, and literally like everything's free besides like food like okay yes ma'am so I'm cooking breakfast right now then we're gonna get the boys ready and try to leave but just want to say good morning, give a little spill deal of what we're doing. Okay, so bags are packed. I just need to get water like in the cups. Thy husband is getting the vehicles ready. So I think we're going to take the stroller. Go to the truck. My husband got me coffee. That would take it four years. I'm kidding. It tastes okay. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, we are heading to this event now. I've texted my dad and sister-in-law and neither of them. Oh, actually, my dad said we will be leaving at 5. That was at 10.32. This is what they gave us. It's a pocket one, and that's what they are flying right now. Let's see if we got 